So, um, was debating whether to make a video or not. It's not really their fault. It's mine. I was, I was doing some bicycle here in the basement. And I was sitting right here. I had this, uh, I upgraded to the Roku Voice Remote Pro. It slipped out of my hands and it fell on the ground there. I bought one like about three or four months ago and sometime in December, I think it was 2021. So I, um, so I just eating my healthy choice bar. You know, it's not super healthy, but that's another discussion for another day. Anyhow, I, this is going straight in the garbage, and because there's no other option, I'm going to just have to, um, I just bought myself another replacement, but I just wanted to show you. So it fell on the floor, and the button stopped, volume stopped working left, right, up, and down. So I just put some tape temporarily to hold the pieces in place. But... Here, let me, uh, <clears throat> so basically, as you can see, if I zoom in there, there is, um, There is one, two, and there is three. Three things. Let me just finish my ice cream. Hold on. There we go. Um. Um, anyhow, so there's a, so there's three things here. As you can see, they're very thin, and that's what controls the, and right there you can see one, two, and so you can see when you press the button, it's hard to see, but when you press the button, it kind of, you know, so anyway, what happened? After, after the remote, I was using the um, earphone jack thing on the side here. So when it's, it was attached to the earphones, and so when it slipped out of my thing and fell to the ground, what happened, this, uh, this tab basically, this little solder joint or whatever the button that's supposed to go there fell out so at, at first it was um, just loose and with a little bit of tape put it back together and fixed it then I thought I could glue or solder it back I don't know how to solder for the life of me I don't want to burn my nice house to the ground so you know I don't have money to buy a new house <laughs> so um, I'm not even gonna bother soldering so I um so I put tape on there and then I thought I would take off the tape and glue it together or something but when I when I pulled the tape off the whole thing just ripped apart and this little white thing here just ripped off of the trace completely and it's and it's not even and even if I try to put it back on it doesn't work I have to glue it I can't even just like tape it down like this so this is really cheap. I think my other thicker remotes, like the ones with the AA batteries that came with my 2019 Ultra work. This is great micro USB. Maybe what I can do is just save the battery and toss the rest in the garbage. Because, you know, then I have a spare battery at least. Not 
a bad deal for whatever, 30 something. I got a spare battery, it was gently used. Because I can always use a spare battery, so. Yeah, so maybe I'll just rip out the battery and I have a spare pack. That's not bad. But this is, and it's not their fault, it's mine. I dropped it, so. But the, I don't know if they'll sue me for saying this or whatever, but. I mean, they, because it's so thin, they have little space, and so they could have done a little better. These little, these little things are so thin that they just break easily, and they should have made it a little bit bigger or thicker. Or they shouldn't have made these kind of switches where you press the button and you, it should be like a fire remote where the buttons are, where the buttons are like on the, on the top here instead of on the sides, like hair or hair. But again, my fault, not theirs, so I'm not blaming them and I'll keep it on the side if they, you know, they won't warrant it because it's my fault and I broke it, but you know, or, well, they're not going to replace it. It was my fault. So this is going straight in the garbage and I got myself a replacement because there's no other choice. They don't make anything else like that on the market, so. But anyway, I just wanted to show you what happened. It fell on the floor and broke. So, it's a nice addition, upgrade, because it has earphone jack. You can turn off the voice assistant. There's microcharging in the back. But it's very cheaply made, be aware. It's, at least on the inside, it's very, it's very cheaply made. And it's not, in my opinion, it's not a good remote. But to go with my 55 inch Series 4 TCL TV for 350 bucks from Costco, it is a nice upgrade because the remote that came with it is complete garbage. It doesn't, you know, I mean, the range is very poor and doesn't, these are side buttons with a side, side click device, but the main remote doesn't have very good range. You have to like be directly like right in front or it doesn't work and anyhow it's not worth it so I just wanted to show you and then this is my uh, 2019 Ultra it looks a little bit beefier but it has the um, obviously as you can see the um, double A's in the back which is not bad I don't know why they switch to a chargeable because unless you're using earphones which I am. It lasts a pretty long time. There's my 2019 Ultra with the with the side USB and the and the micro SD in the back. Ethernet, blah blah blah, HDMI power. And um And there was one button. Oh, yeah, and the button on the front here. I don't know what that does. So, but, you know, why have this, you know, I'm temporarily I'm using this, but why have a separate Roku? Because I have another TV upstairs, but why use a separate Roku if you, you know, if you um already have with a TV built in? So that's why I got the remote. Now I can use private listening from that, and I don't have to buy those expensive side speakers or the sound bar with the Bluetooth built-in, or one that allows you to pair with the Bluetooth built-in. So, um, you know, it's just, I wish it was a little better made quality-wise so that you, you know, I mean, it's not a long drop, actually. You know, I was just, it was, I was right here, and it's not really that, I don't know how tall, I'm five feet eight, seven or eight inches, so, and my, uh, and I'm standing way above this, you know, my middle of my chest is coming up to the, up to the, to the thing here. So it's probably about four feet tall. It's not that far a drop. Even five feet is nothing. Anyhow, so I just wanted to show you what exactly happened that day. And that's about it. Thanks for watching.